What's your guys? Welcome back to the Zeus Dazzle Eliminator Retro Game Channel and I'll go by the name of Zeus and for this let's play I'm going to do Daily Thompson's Decathlon on the ZX Spectrum and this came out in 1984 if I remember right obviously because of the Olympics at that time uh, which was in Los Angeles and Daily Thompson of course um, won that Decathlon event claimed gold way go Daily and obviously the rest is history they flooded in made games and what have you and uh he obviously made a mint at that point but i remember getting this game when i uh back in 1984 very i think it was around christmas time 1984 might have been my birthday and uh, when i first loaded it up from the till today i just thought the game's brilliant i think it's been programmed very well uh the uh it's very clever some of the uh some of the actual events you have to do it's very well programmed i think it's very tight so i was quite uh, impressed with that at the time and don't forget 128k spectrum didn't come out at that time so this was all 48k spectrum and yes you do have a white daily thompson there but let's be honest with you back in the day well when i was uh um when i got the game that's the last thing on my mind. never even questioned it never occurred to me why is he white you know and i doubt if many of us um Many of us, others of us did actually question that because the game itself was it was just a good game if you could play it. Once some people got to the uh, events like your pole vault and your jab, uh, your pole vault and your um, high jump, they could be a bit tricky. And if you don't know how to do it properly, it can get frustrating. But if you know how to do it properly, the game becomes brilliant. The only event, sadly, that lets it down, and it's not the game's fault, is the fifteen hundred. It's really, really boring. But uh, that's part of the decathlon, I'm afraid. So there we go. And you can say it was written by uh, P. Owens and C. Oh, that's a funny name, isn't it? Uquat. What the hell does that mean? Sounds like Cuba. Um, black mark on my book. I didn't actually uh, go into detail about this game as far as their first name. So my apologies there. We just rather crack on with this Let's Play. And I did a long play of this uh, a couple of days ago on my channel. It'll be in this link if you want to watch it. And that long play is me producing my top scores of every event and I, I actually was quite impressed with some of the results I got so I practiced each event put them together and made a long play um, I cleared five meters for the first time on the pole vault and um, I believe I've got the furthest you can possibly throw on the discus uh, the top speed you can't get any more otherwise you foul and 45 degrees and I nailed something like just under 76 meters that's the first time I've ever hit that. Usually I get 73 metres, something like that, um, hitting a 46 uh, degree angle. Javelin as well, I hit 118 or 117 metres. So there's really some good uh, records in that. There's high jump, I did 241, I think. Might have gone higher than that uh, in the past, but obviously I didn't record it. So that's uh, that's not valid. And surprisingly, I did 968 in 100 metres. And I, I must have shattered my record by a second at least in that but uh so it's quite even mean with that it's a really good long play and it's got all my records so please check that out and see if you can beat any of them right let's get on with this uh, uh let's play and um see how far or how well we're doing it hopefully i don't beat any records because uh, i'd rather have them recorded without my babbling all over it so we're going to go for keyboard because joy it just knackers your joystick up there's no point and if you're careful it can knacker your keyboard up as well which is why if i ever play this game i actually change my two main keys every time I left and right I never use the same ones um, because that way you're just going to knacker your two keys up completely and you'll have to get a new membrane and it costs money plus you need to know somebody who can repair the bloody things right redefine key yes we do right I'm going to go for C B and space I'm going to go for that okay right let's get my name in there 100 meters. Now 968 is my record on this. Now, I don't know if this is going to sound, you're going to hear me pummeling away on these keys. And probably me getting very bloody exhausted. Right, there we go. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no, what are you dropping speed for? Look at that, 12 and a half seconds. How the hell did I get 9? 0.68 but I did check my long play on it and it's all using the real hardware this is my 128k plus one the, the toes rack model so I don't know how I did that I'm just glad I got it recorded I did it when I was recording it long jump 932 is my record on this now I have my doubts about this because um, uh, 
Oh, come on, where's the bloody light? Oh, I pressed the space by mistake, bloody thing. No, I don't count. That's not fair. Oh, you get your speed up and it's like, oh, when's the bloody jump line coming up? I'll go a bit slow to begin with. Now pummel up. No, oh no, that's crap speed. Now the funny thing is, I did two jumps. Check my long player. I did two jumps where I almost hit the right side of the screen. I was way over there. And you think, Jesus, that must be 11 meter jump. But it turns out to be on the nine meter lines. And I've seen other long plays that have, have jumped nowhere near that distance. And yet, when he's measured it, it's longer than mine. So work that out. That's not good. I mean, it's qualified, but that's not good. I've been doing this last night, you see, so I'm pummeling my fingers away on this keyboard, and my hands are still numb, actually. That's not the best. I might um, go around the other, the other way, uh, complete the game, and then um, have another crack at that. Now, what's my shot put record? I think it's about 27, 28 metres. Foul straight away. I'm not doing very good with the speed today. And I fouled again. Oh dear, this is a terrible, terrible play for him. Oh, and a triple foul. Disgraceful. That's piss poor, isn't it? That's piss poor. Right, high jump. Now this can be tricky if you don't know how to do it. So you don't need to jab away at the keys. It builds up itself. And then, oh, like that. And then way over and press the space again. So you have to press the space bar at least twice to get over it. Two meters 41 on my long play. Uh, you can see that. Failed at 242. And I can't remember for the life of me if I um, ever got higher than that. Now, I'll be honest with you, the 1500 metres, I'm going to deliberately foul because it goes on for like two minutes. It's so boring. For a let's play, you're not going to watch that. So I should just foul that event. There we go. Easy so far. I love that crowd as well. That's a pretty good effect. Reminds me of uh, um, Hypersports. Um, I don't know if it's come out before Hypersports actually. It's roughly the same time. But track and Field was before that. That came out a year before. I think that came out after the World Championships because I think the World Championships is a year before the Olympics. It's every two years, I think, maybe before. I don't know. So the good thing is with this event, you give your fingers a rest and your keyboard and you let the computer get your speed up there you go so you have to do it at least twice and once you get to 235 it only goes up in centimeters so no foul so far I'm a bit annoyed with that shot put that was a feeble oh first foul Got a bit close that time. But the game responds so well. I mean, there's no colour clash, nothing. It's really tightly programmed. So when Ocean was doing uh, very good games and putting their heart into it, I mean, they, they generally put their heart into their games anyway, to be honest with you, compared to US Gold and that. But as you can see, no colour clash. It moves well, it scrolls well, it reacts well. Love the crowd, the way it's jumping up and down. It's a very, very nicely tight program game excellent in fact oh i knew i foul so i just they didn't even bother with them 236 so far furious about that shot but that's careless okay come on let's try and clear this shall we get over there yes okay i had to press that three times that time I played this on the Commodore 64 as well. Uh, I don't know if it came out on the Amstrad. 
64 version is very different. Sometimes you can do two player against each other on certain events, but the characters are a lot smaller. Oh well, there we go, 237. And you watch my long play, you think, how the hell did I do some of these if I'm fucking up like this? 400 meters. I did this in 30 second, 30 point 12 seconds. And I don't know how I did it. But I did. I broke this, see that's a good speed. You've got to get the keys right. Once you start jabbing them together, you drop speed. It's really tricky. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my numbers, my, my forearms are getting so numb now. Oh, my fingers are slipping off the keys. Come on. I click, yeah, 30.12. I don't know how I did it. Oh, I nearly did it again. Ah, you know. That's the second fastest time I've ever got on that event. Oh. Right, 110 meter hurdles, and I've almost broke the 10 second barrier on this, which I honestly can't fucking believe I did that. I've got nowhere near it ever since. But again, it's the, it's the bloody... You've got to do all the speed yourself. Get the jumps right, which I didn't. Oh, it's all gone wrong now. <laughs> it's gone really wrong. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, God. 10.02 I got on this event. Can't believe I did that. Right, what are we now? Pole vault. Now this this is going to be a lesson to some of you because I've seen some of the long plays, I've seen some of the footage of many other YouTubers and a lot of you don't know how to do this. And I've got to admit, it's fucking tricky. But again, you don't have to whack the keys, it does it for you. So just as you're about to see the, there you go, you press space, keep your finger on it, clear it, just like that. Now I've done five meters on this. So as soon as you see the bar come in, you keep your finger on the space bar. And there we go. But you can't do that. You can get away with that up to about 4 meters 80. And then after that it gets tricky because the, uh, the, uh, the bar is so tall. You have to press the space twice. That's the perfect position right there. I don't know why I didn't put the crowd in the background on this, because when he's cheering, there's no uh, there's no crowd, which lets it down a little bit. It's like, well, I jumped this, but no one's seen me do it. You know, there's a great big fucking wall there. So at the moment, it goes up to, uh, 10 centimetres. Once it gets to 5 metres, it goes up 1 centimetre at a time. Oh, that's questionable. Yes, OK. Yeah, once you get to 4 metres 90, it becomes a world of difference. You have to do a completely different tactic. You've got to press the space bar at least twice. The first time, that's a good one. Wait, uh, you keep hold of the space bar, and the moment he hits the top of the pole, you let go and quickly press the space bar again, so he sort of jumps off the end of his pole. So far, so good. We're clearing these lovely. 4 meters 60. Once you know how to do it, it's easy. The only thing it gets hard about is when it gets too high. Come on, baby. Oh, I don't know about that one. Oh, yeah, perfect. So that's all it takes is one space bar. You keep your finger on the space bar. Or, or the fire button. I've got the space bar at the moment. That's what I'm using for my uh, fire button. It's just an easier key to use. If you're in a panic. Right, 480, that's it. You won't be able to get away with that now. Now it gets tricky. You've got to press it twice. Once. Twice. Oh! It's very difficult now. Scratching his head as if to say, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> you failed. Oh no, that's a bad one. Oh, damn it. 
you have to get it just before the first uh, pole. See, it's a world of difference now. I've done the set of cleared five meters. That's my best. Oh, <laughs> you got first said. As soon as you get to the top of the pole, once it's finished bending, you let go of the space bar and throw it again. Uh, press it again, and you can uh, leap off the pole. It's very difficult, but that's how you do the pole vault anyway. Discus. Now, I believe I've achieved the furthest possible distance you can on this, which was 75 meters 90. That's too low. That's the top speed. If you let it go any faster than that, you'll foul. Because there's swing outside the uh, outside his um, area. Try again. Okay. 45 is what you want. 46. I've thrown it to the edge as well, which won't be good. 71, 28. So I nailed this perfectly yesterday. 42. Not good. Well, I've, fl I've flown past the qualifier, but if you can do that speed, 45 degrees, I got 75 meters 90, I think it was. Uh, you'll have to check my long play to uh, see exactly. I can't remember the top of my head. Javelin. Now, I got memories that I threw 132 meters in this, but I'm doubting that now because. Um, no, what's my rhythm? 53, got the speed up at the end. I don't know what it is, but I dreamt I got 132 metres. But I, I'm i doubting that now, because uh, I can't get past 117.90, I think it is, something like that. I'm always hitting 114 metres. Always. Always. Not as good speed. It's really hard to maintain your speed when you're whacking away at the buttons like that. Sometimes you can uh, you slip off a key and it just you, your speed goes down because of it. No, I'm not even gonna get 100 meters on that one. Am I this time? The speed. It's all about the speed as well. Yeah, 117.90. So there's no way I could. Have, I'm not, I couldn't have got 132 meters. I must have been dreaming that. Ooh. Good speed, little bit high on the trajectory. 45, 46, 47 around there is ideal. Now you might think it's off the screen, it's going further, but no, it comes down at a sharper angle if you throw too high. Let me guess, 114. Oh, that must be my second ever highest throw. 117.76. If I just had the trajectory a little bit lower. Now this is boring as fuck. So I'm probably I'm gonna deliberately fail here. Uh, what I do is um I just run like fat, like crazy. Top speed all pretty much up. Now what, what I did for my record, I mean I'm sure I could beat it more than that. I said it as that and I just walked away and made us have a cup of coffee. Came back half a minute later, it was still going. So uh, it's boring. It really is boring. And I'm pretty sure I can improve on my fifteen hundred meter time on my long play, but I can't be fucked. That's a, that's, that's a simple way, that's the truth. I just can't be asked to uh, sit through this all the time. So, and just like now, I can't be bothered. So we're gonna knacker him out. I'm getting fatigued. Right, let it go down a bit, the energy, and then sit. Get up there again. You will get exhausted. There we go, retired. I couldn't be asked. And there we go, I got a gold medal anyway for it, so the competition must have been absolutely crap for me to do that, considering I failed on the shot put and um, <clears throat> deliberately lost on the 1500 meters there. But there we go, that's David Thompson's decathlon. And I'm gonna have another go to the shot put. Uh, shot put, shot put.
And so we're going to have another crack at the shot put and try and redeem myself for the humiliating attempts I did earlier. I'm going to at least throw this bloody thing this time. I at least want to get a score. <laughs> there we go. And uh, something else that didn't ever came to mind is the way through this. You never see a shot putter do that. Take a run and jump. They always swing in a little circle, don't they? Oh, back to the friggin' valves. It's panicking going from the left and right key to the fire. That's the problem. 46, that's fine. I think I've hit 28 metres on this. It's my highest. That wasn't so bad. A bit more speed, that would have worked out fine. So, um... There we go, we ain't gonna go any further than that. I just wanted to do the shot put again because I did so humiliatingly bad the first time round. I had to justify, um, correct myself and prove to you that I can do it properly <laughs> when, I, when I'm not fucking about. But uh, there you go, Dave Thompson's Decathlon on the ZX Spectrum 48K. Absolute brilliant and uh, way up there with Hypersports, which was another classic game by Imagine. You see what I'm saying? Imagine the notion they were class acts in the uh, mid 80s for some of the games they did. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I, I got so much respect for that software house. Really, really have. They've done some classics for the 8 bits. They've done some turkeys, but on the scale of percentages, most of the stuff were, were at least reasonably good. You know what I mean? Up to really, really class. And other software houses just couldn't couldn't touch them personally. But give me Ocean over a US Gold any, any day of the week, any minute of the day, any second of the minute. US Gold, not a shadow as far as uh, Ocean and Imagine go. But there we go, Daily Thompson Decathlon, 1984 from Ocean Software. Fantastic, brilliant. If you've got an emulator, then can give it a go. But I warn you, it will knacker your keys out. I don't know how you're going to play it on an emulator because I'm sure your PC or laptop won't appreciate you whacking the keys. And, of course, if you use a joystick, it's, it's going to knacker them as well. So it's a very dangerous game to play. And if you have got an original hardware, then I suggest every time you play it, change the keys always spread them about never use the same keys because eventually you're just going to completely screw your spectrum up and uh, that's not a good thing is it it's not a good thing at all so there we go i hope you enjoyed that let's play guys and please check out my long play of this and see if you can beat any of those records which are legit that's using the real hardware one to eight k plus one that's the toast rack model no cheats involved nothing nothing out of the ordinary that is my legit attempts at those events so please check that out the link is in this description of this video and uh, as I said, see if you can uh, beat some of those records. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's play. Until next time, look after yourselves and happy gaming.